Curs with the Bemidji Sculpture Walk were putting the finishing touches on the new art pieces in the downtown area over the weekend. As Mel Meyer reports, even with the dreary weather, many residents were taking a stroll to see the neighborhood come alive. Now that most of the 24 pieces of art have been installed, the selected artists are celebrating their newest additions to the town. Tim Nelson is excited to be a part of this for the seventh year in a row. When I originally moved here, this is one of the parts of town that my wife and I just fell in love with right away because of the sculpture walk down here. A giant squid, porcupine, even a seahorse. Just some of the wildlife that can be seen around the downtown area. Nelson says his work is usually lighthearted, like a guppy called Mr. Pudge. I think it resonates with kids a lot because it's very colorful. Over the weekend, some residents were out enjoying the art despite the weather conditions. Mary Therese hasn't spotted any new ones quite yet, but is looking forward to it. It's really exciting to see new things on the streets every, every year. Nicholas White stopped to snap a photo of a fox called Tranquility. He says that so far, he's noticed some of the pieces are a little bit more upbeat than last year's work. It kind of makes it look a little bit happier because they're all like little and kind of little kiddish. Matt Favor lives close by and is happy to see that the tradition continues. It's something that I really hope they keep doing because the sculptures are absolutely beautiful. They're a benefit to our town. Now 17 years in the running, the sculpture walk seems to cement Bemidji's place as an art and cultural hub. I know there's a lot of places that are a lot bigger that don't have as much going on, so it's a cool part of living here. The sculpture walk will be issuing a new map so people can check out the artwork. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. Four of the 20 artists that are featured in the walk are from the Bemidji area. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.